a strongly typed superset of JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. Now you can use this language for application scale JavaScript development. Also, it can be executed on any browser, any host, and any operating system. Hi everyone, this is Shantini from Edureka, and in today's session, we will talk about what is TypeScript and why do we need to use it. Now, before we begin, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first we will discuss what is TypeScript and then we will see why do we actually need to use TypeScript. Then we will talk about some of the features of TypeScript and also the benefits. Then moving on we will have a look at the different components and then the different steps involved in installing TypeScript. Then we will talk about the working of TypeScript with an example. And finally we will discuss the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us on trending technologies. Also, if you are looking for an online training certification in web development, check out the link in the description box below. Now talking about what is TypeScript. So TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. It is pure object oriented with classes, interfaces, and statically typed programming languages like C Sharp or Java. You will need a compiler to compile and generate the code in the JavaScript file. Basically, TypeScript is the ES6 version of JavaScript with some additional features. Now, a TypeScript code is written in a file with the .ts extension and then compiled into JavaScript using the compiler. You can write the file in any code editor and the compiler needs to be installed on your platform. Now here you can see the syntax of the TypeScript programming. So here we have the var message string which says welcome to Edureka and then we have just used the console.log and printed the message here. Now as soon as you compile this it will generate the JavaScript code and give you the output as the string which is welcome to Edureka. So here you can see the difference in the JavaScript code. We do not have message colon string. This is how we are representing the string in TypeScript. So now that you know what is TypeScript, let's see why we need it actually. Now moving on to why do we use TypeScript? There are different reasons why a JavaScript developer should consider using TypeScript. First is using the new features of ECMA script. So TypeScript supports the new ECMA script standards and transpile them to ECMA script targets of your choice. So you can use features of ES 2015 and beyond like modules, lambda functions, classes, the spread operator, destructuring, etc. Not just that, there's also another feature as the static typing. Now JavaScript is dynamically typed and it does not know what type a variable is until it is actually instantiated at runtime. Now TypeScript adds type support to the JavaScript. Next up is the type inference. Now TypeScript makes typing a bit easier and a lot less explicit by the usage of type inference. Even if you don't explicitly type the types, they are still there to save you from doing something which otherwise would result in a runtime error. Not just that, there's also better IDE support. So the development experience with TypeScript is a great improvement over JavaScript. There is a wide range of IDEs that have excellent support for TypeScript, like the Visual Studio and VS Code. Then we have Atom, Sublime, and IntelliJ or the WebStorm. And then we have the strict null checking. So errors like you cannot read a property X of undefined is common in JavaScript programming. You can avoid most of these kinds of errors since one cannot use a variable that is not known to the TypeScript compiler. And finally, we have the interoperability. Now TypeScript is closely related to JavaScript, so it has great interoperability capabilities. But some extra work is required to work with the JavaScript libraries in TypeScript. So this was about why we need to use TypeScript. Now let's talk about some of the features of TypeScript. Now talking about features, it is actually cross-platform. So the TypeScript compiler can be installed on any operating system such as Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Then it is also object oriented. So TypeScript provides features like classes, interfaces and modules. Thus it can write object oriented code for client side as well as server side development. Not just that we have the static type checking 
and TypeScript uses static typing and helps type checking at compile time. So you can find errors while writing the code without even running the script. Now along with that you also have optional static typing. Now it allows optional static typing in case you are using the dynamic typing of JavaScript. Next up we have the DOM manipulation so you can use TypeScript to manipulate the DOM for adding or removing elements. And finally we have the ES6 features. So TypeScript includes most features of plant ACMA script 2015 such as class interface arrow functions etc. Now these were some of the features of TypeScript. So let's have a look at the different benefits or the advantages of using TypeScript. Now talking about this it is fast simple easy to learn and runs on any browser on JavaScript engine. Not just that TypeScript is similar to JavaScript and uses the same syntax and semantics. So you would not need extra time to learn this if you are already aware about JavaScript. Now this also helps backend developers write front end code faster. Also you can call the TypeScript code from an existing JavaScript code. It works with existing JavaScript frameworks and libraries without any issues. Now the definition file with the .d.ts extension it provides support for existing JavaScript libraries like jQuery d3.js etc. So TypeScript code can add JavaScript libraries using type definitions to avail the benefits of type checking code auto completion and documentation in existing dynamically typed JavaScript libraries. And finally it has features from ES6 and ES7 that can run in ES5 level JavaScript engines like Node.js. So these are some of the features and advantages of using TypeScript. Now let's talk about the different components of TypeScript. There are three different types of components. Now the first one is language. So this comprises of the syntax keywords and the type annotations. Then we have the TypeScript compiler. This compiler that is the TSC converts the instructions written in TypeScript to its JavaScript equivalent. And finally we have the TypeScript language service. The language service exposes an additional layer around the core compiler pipeline editor like applications. Then the language service supports the common set of typical editor operations. So these were the three different things included in the components of TypeScript. Now how do we actually install TypeScript? Now there are two different ways to install TypeScript tools. So the first one is via the NPM which is the Node.js package manager command line tool. So you can use the command line as NPM install G TypeScript. This is the first method. The next one is pretty simple. All we need to do is install TypeScript via Visual Studio. Now if you use Visual Studio or VS Code IDE the easiest way to add to Visual Studio or VS Code is to search and add a package or download from the TypeScript website. Also you can download TypeScript tools for Visual Studio. Now all you need to do is just click on the download and install TypeScript in your system. So now you know that installing TypeScript is very easy. Now talking about the working of TypeScript even that's very simple because it's very similar to how we work in JavaScript. Now in JavaScript we declare any variable in the following way. So here you can see an example as where selected value and inside that we will pass any string or any value that we want to. But in TypeScript the declaration is done as so we have the access modifier property or the variable name. And then we just take the colon and pass the data type. So suppose I want to give my variable name as selected value. So I'll just take selected value colon and pass the data type. Suppose I want to pass the value as string. So I'll just write string here. So now here is an example. You can see that I have my variable name colon the data type which is string and I'm passing a string value here. The next one is an employee ID colon number and I'm passing numbers here. Now on compiling this will generate the JavaScript code as where name and then the where employee ID. So here we just have the variable name and the value that we have passed. It does not show the data type here. So this is the difference between these two. Now talking about the difference let's get into the details and see what are the main differences between TypeScript and JavaScript. Now TypeScript is a subset of JavaScript and it's very similar to each other. But there are certainly some differences here. 
Now TypeScript is an object oriented language whereas JavaScript is actually a scripting language. Now TypeScript has a feature known as static typing that we have already discussed about but in JavaScript we do not have static typing. Also TypeScript gives support for modules whereas in JavaScript it does not support any sort of modules. And finally the TypeScript supports optional parameter function. But in JavaScript, we do not have the optional parameter function either. So these were some of the main differences between TypeScript and JavaScript. And I hope with this you have understood why we need TypeScript and what it actually does and how similar and different it is from JavaScript. So with this, we have come to the end of today's session. But don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!